Yo, what is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Homie Hector here and today we're gonna be taking care of this rim right here As you can see this rim got in a fight with the curb and it looks like the curb got the better of it Not only did it damage the rim and it scratched it up pretty bad, but it also popped the tire as you can see right here So the first thing I'm gonna do is clean off the rim with some soap and water Now I'm just going to go ahead and wipe it off with a microfiber towel. And if you have an air compressor, go ahead and dry it off. Alright, now that I got the wheel nice and clean and I don't have any dirt and debris on it, I'm going to go ahead and use some scratch doctor. Now what this is going to do is it's going to get rid of all the little scratches that we have on the rim and it's only going to leave the big scratches for us. And I'm going to go to work with the drill. Now if you don't have a drill, you can use one of these pads, put a little bit of scratch doctor on there, and go to town with your hands. So that's one pass with the scratch doctor. We're going to wipe it down and see how it looks. Now you can see how much better it looks already. Now for some of you, the scratch doctor and this microfiber pad might be all you need to get your rim back to normal. But as you can see on this one, we have some deep scratches right here that we're gonna have to take care of. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a second pass with the scratch doctor and we're gonna see where we're at. All right, and after that second pass, we're just gonna go ahead and give it a quick wipe down once again. Now check it out, it looks 10 times better than before, but I'm still not done here. If the scratch doctor and the pad did it for you, then there you go. That's how you remove scratches from your rim, but I'm gonna keep going. I got way deeper scratches that I gotta take care of, so I'm gonna go ahead and sand those down with 80 grit sandpaper. All right, so I got some 80 grit sandpaper right here. Now what I'm gonna do is just focus on the big scratches right here until I get those nice and smooth. Okay, so I just went around the whole rim with 80 grit sandpaper and I got rid of all the big scratches. Now for the deep scratches that are still on the rim, we're gonna go ahead and fill those in with some glazing and spot putty. This right here fills pinholes and scratches. You can use body filler too, but it's gonna take a little bit longer. This stuff right here dries a lot faster and it'll fill in those scratches a lot better. So go ahead and get yourself a little spreader like this and put some glazing and spot putty right around the corner, just like that. And all we're gonna do is go around and fill in those big scratches. And if you think you put a little too much, do not worry about it. You're gonna be able to sand this stuff down in a matter of minutes. So I'm just gonna go around the rim and finish up all the little scratches and then we'll come back to the next step. All right, so just did one round of the spot putty. I'm gonna let that dry for about 10, 15 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and sand it down. And if we need to do a second round, we'll go ahead and do that. 
All right, now if you wanna go ahead and speed up the process while the spot putty is drying, especially on those colder days, today we're hitting 64 right here in Pomona. You can go ahead and use a heat gun to help everything dry and get this done a little faster. All the products that I'm using today are gonna be linked down in the description so you can find them easily. Okay, while that spot putty is drying, it's a good idea to go around the rim and see if you missed any scratches. Any scratches that the 80 grit wasn't able to remove, like these right here, you can see those right there. I missed those. The 80 grit wasn't able to remove them. I can actually feel them with my fingernail. So just take a closer look around the rim and see if you missed any scratches. Right now is the time to fill them up. So I'm just going around feeling with my fingernail. If my fingernail catches, then I'm gonna go ahead and drop some putty on there and keep going around the rim. All right, once you got everything covered in spot putty, go ahead and let it dry. We're gonna come back with a higher grit sandpaper and smooth everything out. All right, so it's been about 20 minutes. The spot putty is nice and dry. Now what I'm gonna do is hit it with some 320 grit sandpaper and this is gonna smooth out all this spot putty that we put on there. Okay, now when you're sanding the spot putty, you want to sand the spot putty, but you also want to feather it out a little bit so that you have a smooth transition from the spot putty to the rest of the rim. Now that feels nice and smooth. So after you're sanding, double check your work. Make sure you don't feel any bumps. Make sure everything feels nice and smooth. Make sure you don't feel any of the scratches. All right, just sanded the whole rim with 320 grit sandpaper. All the putty is nice and smooth. Now, if you got your rim nice and smooth, you can move on to the next step. I still have a little gouge right here that I gotta put a little bit more putty on. I'm gonna let that dry, then I'm gonna sand it because as you can see, we got some deep gouges right here. But after we're done with this, we're gonna go ahead and scuff the entire rim and get it ready for primer. I'm gonna replace this tire, so I'm not gonna cover it up. But if you got a good tire, you can cover it up so that you don't get any paint on it. If you got some extra sheets of sandpaper, go ahead and take these sheets of sandpaper and put them around the rim. These will make quick work of covering up the tire. Okay, so you can do that and that's gonna help you out a lot. I don't need to do that since this tire is gonna get replaced. So let me take these off. Now what I'm gonna do is scuff up the entire rim with this maroon scuff pad. You want to keep doing this until the tire loses its shine and it looks nice and dull. And get into all these little spaces, get into all the little crevices. We're scuffing it up so that the primer has something to stick to. Alright, now that I got everything nice and scuffed, I'm going to go ahead and clean that up with some wax and grease remover. Okay, now I'm just gonna let that dry real quick and then I'm gonna hit it with the tack cloth and then I'm gonna start priming. Get yourself a filler primer like this one. This one is gonna help fill up any little scratches that are still left behind from the sandpaper. So a filler primer is what you want.
if you have a valve stem that you need to protect go ahead and cover it up with tape right now but I'm going to leave it on there because when I get the new tire, they should put a new TPMS kit in there for me. Okay, that's the first coat of primer on the spot putty areas. The next coat is going to be for the entire rim. So I'm going to let it dry for about 10-15 minutes. I'm going to help it out with the heat gun since it is a little colder today. And then we'll come back and do a second coat of primer. Okay, this is what the wheel looks like after three coats of primer. This is looking good. It looks pretty smooth. Now, if your primer doesn't look as smooth as this, you can go ahead and sand it with 800 grit sandpaper, then go ahead and clean it up, and then start your paint. This one looks pretty smooth, so what I'm going to do right now is start painting. So what I'm going to be using for this wheel is duplicolor wheel paint, and this is a silver color, so it should match the rest of the wheels. Let's go ahead and throw it on there and see what it looks like. And just like with the primer, we're going to start with a light coat and then a medium coat and then we'll go a heavier coat so we can get full coverage. So that's the first light coat of silver. I'm gonna let it dry and then we'll do a second coat and if we need to, we'll do a third coat. Okay, this is gonna be coat number two. You wanna go ahead and shake the can for about a minute so that you get the best spray possible. And just like before, you wanna hit it from the left, you wanna hit it from the right, and you wanna hit it from the back. All right, it's been about 20 minutes later, and now it's time for the clear coat. Now, if you want your wheel to be super shiny, super glossy, you can go ahead and use something like this. This is Duplicolor's 1K clear coat, and it's a really good clear coat. It has a nice gloss, but I don't think the wheels should be this glossy. So what I'm gonna use is one of these. This is Duplicolor's clear coat, but it's a matte clear coat and it's for wheels so I'm gonna go with this one because in my personal opinion I don't think wheels should be that shiny and this is gonna give it just a perfect amount of shine and just the right amount of protection for the wheel So that's coat number one, very, very light coat. I'm gonna repeat this two more times and I'll show you the end result. One eternity later. And check it out, this is what it looks like after letting the paint cure for a couple days and getting the tire mounted on there. I mean, it looks like nothing ever happened to the wheel. Check out how it was before, it was all scratched up, it was pretty badly damaged. So if you wanna try this at home and do it yourself, click the link in the description so that you can see all the products and the tools that I use so that you can get results like these. So now that you know how to do a good rim job, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you on the next one.